Hi guys, my name is Leo. Hi, did you just wake up from your nap? Where are you going? Did you just wake up from your nap? He always has to sit right next to me. He's such a good boy. He's kind of like a dog. What do you want to do now? You want to go get a snack? You want a snack or something? What do you want? Oh, my little baby, you're so cute. I love you so much. Okay, come on. Let's go get a little snack. <laughs> he literally just walks with me. Leo, you're not gonna, are you sick? You guys wanted a video specifically starring Leo, so here it is. Here is Leo. This is what he does most of the day. You guys wanted to know what breed he was, how he is like. He is, as you can tell, he is so sweet. He is cute as a button. And I've had this little baby for nine years. He is nine years old and I got him when he was about three months from a breeder. He is actually a Siberian cat. Siberian cats are very dog-like. According to my research and according to like the breeder, they are the second largest cat breed of all the cat breeds. The reason why I chose a Siberian cat is because they are known to be hypoallergenic. So Siberian cats, they lack a protein in their saliva. I think it's called like Fell, let me Google it. Let's see, let's see. I'm sorry guys, this video is going to be super candid. I just don't have energy to like actually get dressed today. The protein that a lot of people who are allergic to cats are allergic to is called Fell D1 protein. I'll put it somewhere on the screen here. And that is actually in their saliva. So like cats lick themselves a lot to clean themselves. So when the cats lick themselves and they have that in their saliva, it gets onto their fur and then when it dries up, like it's like cat dander and that is typically what people are allergic to. But Siberian cats, they either have far less of that or they lack it. If you are allergic to cats and you really want a cat, you might want to try a Siberian cat. You might be able to get away with it. Now it's not like 100% scientifically proven, but I can say that my dad Dad is allergic to cats he sneezes he coughs and my brother's allergic to cats he get he, he like breaks out in hives all over his body but when I brought Leo home they were not allergic to them I think it was either my dad or my brother they had very 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 mild symptoms at first and then like after a few weeks it went away he is super sweet he's really smart he was super easy to train and he is honestly like my best friend he goes to sleep with me he follows me around the house he understands like his names he understands like commands earliest picture that i have of him is this one right here he was probably like four or five months old at this time i have my flat iron and he's just laying over it he doesn't even care. He makes himself comfortable anywhere he sleeps. Right, little baby? Oh my goodness, you're so cute. Look at your belly. So we just have like his little food set up here. This is actually an automatic feeder and it's really nice because I bring this closer, I hope you guys can see. You can set it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Right now I only have it set for breakfast and lunch because he only eats twice a day and it has like the time and everything. And to be perfectly honest, I feel like it serves too much for a serving, even if you set it at the lowest. But this is really, really good when I'm not going to be home for a couple days. Um, it'll just like automatically feed him. And yes, he drinks spring water. And I have his like little food at 
out of a bottle there. Um, that's just like two bowls of water. I just came back home from a weekend vacay, so that's why I had two bowls out. I just wanted to make sure he had enough water. You want to walk around here? You want to just lay down here? This is our front porch. You're just walking around our front porch. Baby, just walking. Oh, is that a bug? Ah! Okay, he just caught a bug. That's our house. You want to go back inside? Usually after we go outside, I like to brush him just to get off any like leaves or anything that might be stuck in his coat. Sorry. I'm trying to be as gentle as I can, okay? really likes being brushed. I think he just knows that he needs it because his hair is so long. Sometimes his hair like it's tangled under his armpits and you have to like cut out the knots. Nice brushes. He loves being brushed on his face. So when I say that he is literally attached to my side with everything I do, like I, I have to share a chair with him. <laughs> Leo, hi baby. But I don't mind because I love him so much. Sometimes he sits on my lap, but today it's okay. Yeah, we always share this chair. <laughs> so cute. I love you. I love you. Such a good boy. Such a good boy. Such a good boy. This guy is seriously the biggest furry baby. So it's night time and I am just here editing my video and this is how attached he is. He needs to be next to me all the time. But you know what? I love it. I love it. Hi. Hi. I love you. <laughs> Such a good boy. I love you. So uh, that was my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like my content, if you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful, fabulous day. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.